My husband started Up and Downa in 2005 after his friends asked him to learn how to camp or learn how to hike. They didn't know where to go or what to do. So he started helping them explore the Pikes Peak region and then they stopped him because they said, you know too much information. So why don't you write it down or start a blog? So he did, he started a website. <clears throat> and in 2007, we started doing more uh, outdoor gear reviews and also leading more hikes. And in 2011, we became a program of the Pikes Peak Community Foundation here in Colorado Springs. And they helped give us our first grant to lead community programs. So that's where Upadona was born. And then in 2014, we became our own nonprofit. So for about six years, we've been kind of forging the way in the outdoors as a nonprofit on our own. It's been very exciting. Uh, and actually today, we're celebrating our sixth year as a standalone nonprofit. So it's a very exciting day, thinking of all the hard work leading up to that day, and then receiving that piece of mail uh, from the IRS saying, yes, you are a nonprofit. That was really exciting. So we're definitely celebrating. The name Upadowna stemmed from the way that we started our hikes. So the incline was very popular uh, back in 2006. And so we started doing hikes up the incline. And then we would go to kinfolks afterwards and celebrate with a beer. So because we were going up a mountain and then later we were doing down a beer, Upadowna was formed, up a mountain, down a beer. And so we just mushed the two names together and that's how we got Upadowna. Uh, now we like to say that uh, the up up part is going up a mountain to achieve a goal and then coming back down a wiser, stronger, better person. Up and downa is great for all ages and abilities and we've kind of matured as we've grown up and the beer drinking side is still a part of a small demographic of our fans but we are open to all ages and abilities as well as non-beer drinkers. So we like to be um, mindful of that and we realize that not everyone will go up a mountain and then down a beer. It can be some other sort of celebration. It could be just a high five at the end of a really hard hike or it could be maybe you go out to lunch with your friends after a bike ride. Whatever it is, it's that celebration piece of what you just did that was hard for you in the outdoors. Something that's different at Up Adana is we're just not your average meetup group. We like to involve a little bit more education and connection with nature. So we'll either teach you something about the outdoors, whether it's the 10 essentials or leave no trace basics, or we'll also do something called Shinrin Yoku, which is forest bathing. And that's where you really just take time to breathe. You put down your cell phone, you connect with nature in a quiet environment, and you learn and grow from it.